Hello, welcome to a new watercolor tutorial. Today we will be painting a 2021 watercolor moon phase calendar. If you're watching live, feel free to say hi in the chat. And if you'll be painting along with us today, um, and also let us know where you're watching from. Hi guys, hi. Um, okay, so there is an outline for you to download and trace onto your watercolor paper. It is linked in the description of the video. So this is my outline here. Um, and I traced my outline with graphite transfer paper from Arteza. And before we get started, I will go over my supplies. So I'm using cold press watercolor paper. This is from Arches. I'm using the, um, what is it? The 9 by 12 watercolor block. Hi, Sydney. Good morning. Um, and the paints I plan on using are these two colors here. So I plan on using, it's called Moon Glow from Daniel Smith. So it's kind of like a dusty purple color. And then I plan on using gold. So these are like the two uh, colors I, I will be using. I decided to choose just two colors just to make this look more, um, more simple. And um, I, I don't know, I just thought it'd look cool. And then the gold I plan on, plan on using is this glittery gold. It's, it's called Constellation, and it's from KMS Watercolor. And then I might also use this gold here. This is called uh, Sun Drenched from the Woodland Sunrise set. Um, this is also from KMS Watercolor. And I do have her shop linked below and um, a coupon code for you for her shop. Hi, hi, Catelyn. She says, hello, so happy to be here this fine morning. Well, I'm happy you're here. Sierra, hi, Sierra. She says, hi, Allison and everyone. Good morning. Okay, so yeah, this, oh wait, I didn't share with you my, um, my brushes I plan on using. So I do plan on using this brush here, my size two round brush, silver black velvet. And then I also have these two brushes here. I don't know if I'll use them or not. This is the size zero brush, Princeton Neptune, and it's round. And then I have like this tiny little detail brush that I might use. Um, it's from Princeton Velvet Touch Flat Shader. Yeah, I'm not really sure yet if I will use this. And um, all, all uh, supplies are linked in the description of this video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I was thinking, here, here's what I'm thinking for, for this calendar. So I'm thinking of using the moon glow color for like the, the writing, like the text, and then the numbers, and then um, like the outline of the moons. Um, and then the gold, I was thinking of using the gold to shade in the moons and um, little details like in these flowers here and um, details in the moth. So, uh, okay, this is a very different tutorial than what I usually do, so I hope it turns out. <laughs> okay, so I am, I'm first going to start with the 2020 up here. I feel like that will be a good uh, place to start with this because the text is large and all I really have to do is just fill it in with my moon glow color. Okay, so yeah, I'm just, I'm taking this color, wetting it and I'm, I'm gonna add it to my well right here, just so I can add some water to it. Have you guys ever painted a calendar before? any kind of calendar um, let me know I have never done this so yeah hopefully it turns out okay all right I 
and I haven't painted um, numbers or text with watercolor much. I think I tried once and it didn't work out, but maybe I didn't have like the right brushes. concentrating. <laughs> After I had transferred my outline, I was thinking how this might actually be a good painting to do on hot press paper. So I, I kind of wished I thought of that before transferring it already. Just because um, hot press doesn't have the texture, um, cold press does, and I feel like for writing, like, that would be better. Okay. Oof, that was kind of stressful. <laughs> Hi, Catelyn. Um, she says, unfortunately, my printer didn't want to work. So I'll have to get my hubby to print it for me at work so I can do it later. Oh, darn. That sucks. <clears throat> Hi, Louise. How are you? How are you doing? Okay, I think I might move my camera a little closer for you guys. Have any of you here used this color before? Like, do you have it? Moon Glow from Daniel Smith. This is my first time using it. And it's so pretty. I feel like for the text in this, it is important to have a brush that has like a really nice fine tip. Good morning, Hannah and Joyce. So happy you guys are here. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm just concentrating really hard. <laughs> it's not paint outside of these lines. that last number won't be too difficult, right? <laughs>
okay. My shoulders are like super tense right now. Uh, Louis says, Allison, what is your favorite paint set to work with? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't use paint sets very much. I feel like I just use in individual colors a lot, like from Daniel Smith. But um, I would have to say Decadent Pies from Art Philosophy um, is one of my top favorite ones. And the Woodlands Pan Set from Art Philosophy. That one too. And then I do have a Windsor Newton set that I, I really like. Um, the, they're uh, professional colors. I have a set of, of like various colors. Catlin says, I use the White Knights pan set a lot. White Knights? I haven't heard of that. Um, yeah, okay. I'll have to like look into that set. Hannah says, Moon Glow is a, be is a beautiful color. I predict that you'll use it all the time, just like you do paints gray. Oh, I probably will. I'm already loving it. It's already like won me over. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I did the text. There we go. I think now I'm going to move on to like everything down here. And then we'll do the moth and then uh, the flowers and leaves at the top. Okay. And when I transferred my outline, I didn't uh, shade in as I transferred it. So instead, I just made little marks on the um, side of each moon that will be shaded. That way I, I know, like, I, I won't have to look at my outline to see what side to shade. Okay. So I'm gonna start, yeah, uh, painting in the months. I'm gonna add some more of this to my palette. Okay. Catlin says that she uses the Koi and Windsor Newton set. And so does Louise. Koi? Yeah, I, I haven't tried that set. I've heard of it. All right, here we go. So yeah, I'm like using the very tip of my brush here. I'm gonna start these letters as thin as I can and then I can always like make them a little thicker if I want. I feel like this brush is like perfect for painting letters. Um, my Size two, silver black velvet brush around. It's, it's, it makes it way easier than before when I tried painting letters. I know some people who do like calligraphy with watercolor. Um, have any of you done that? Okay, I might have to get out my really teeny tiny brush here. I think at the time of this live video, I don't have this brush linked, but when the uh, live video is over, I will link it. I don't. I don't use this tiny brush much. 
but it does come in handy when I do need it. Okay, okay. This A is proving to be kind of difficult for me. All right, I'm gonna move on. I can always fix my letters later on. Sunny says, I use the Woodlands and Complexion pan sets a lot since I got it and I'm obsessed. I want Dagonet Pies, Currants, and Vintage Pastels next. I haven't tried the Complexion set. That, that is one that I, I would like to get eventually. And I don't have the Currants either. I feel like that one, that one would be really cool. Okay. Hannah says, lettering and calligraphy definitely makes me tense. I have done a lot of signs for weddings, stores, and houses, but I still get stressed. <laughs> yeah, this is like, like more stressful than I thought it would be. I, I was thinking, oh, this will just be a nice stress-free tutorial. No, but it's fine. I I think it's different and it's, it's fun to like do different things once in a while. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, I feel like, oh my gosh, I, I feel like this is going to take me a while. I guess maybe the first few months might, but then I'll get faster at it. Cindy says, I also have to put in another order for KMS after her new shop update. I know, I, I really want to put in an order. Um, by the way, she, she is restocking the Woodlands pan set. This one here. She's restocking this. I guess th this one sells out like 
really quickly. So if you've been wanting that one, I think her shop update is next week sometime, right? I don't remember when. I feel like it, it's like at the beginning of April. What colors are you guys using for your calendar? Let us know. Hi Trish, good morning. Um, Louis says, I, I would have to make sure I have no coffee jitters before I attempt this. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, and be sure you, you eat your breakfast. I almost forgot to eat my breakfast before this live and I, I was kind of like jittery because if I don't eat breakfast, I just get kind of like jittery. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm definitely becoming like, or like I'm, I'm getting quicker at this, I feel like. Okay, I'm just getting more paint. Trish says, I'm just learning modern calligraphy with watercolors. Oh. Well, then this might not be very hard for you then. I hope you're not watching me and like cringing. <laughs> You definitely need to make sure you have enough water in your paint for this because if you don't, then your letters won't uh, be painted on very smoothly or like it's, it's just harder to paint them. And then if you have too much water, at least in your brush, if you have too much water in your brush, then it might be hard to paint them in nicely. Does that even make sense? Maybe I should just stop talking. <laughs> um, Hannah says, my favorites are Woodlands and Currents from Art Philosophy. I'm getting Daniel Smith tube by tube as I can't afford it. I have 15 now and I absolutely love them, especially the granulating colors. Ooh, yes. I love Daniel Smith. I, I think that's my favorite brand of paint. Do you have the Green Appetite Genuine? It's my favorite color. Okay. 
Trish says, I love you or it's fine. I find myself saying that all the time now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it, yeah, it's just something I, I say to just calm myself because used to, I would get so upset if I like mess up and it would just make me so sad. But now I, I'm, I'm learning to just be okay with it. <laughs> it's, it's just part of of watercolor. I feel like watercolor, it's easy to mess up. At least for me. I mess up all the time. Okay. Hi, Laura. Hi. I'm happy you're here. Trish says, I love my KMS Woodland set. Good. I'm so glad you love it. It was fun to put those colors together, like pick out the colors for that one. She's talking about this set here. Um, KMS, or her, her name is Caitlin. Um, we collaborated on a set and it was that one. I knew I wanted to do something like nature related. And I knew I wanted gold in it. So that's kind of how I came up with, with the colors. I started with the gold and I realized, oh yeah, I could do like a, a woodlands or like a forest theme kind of. And gold reminds me of um, sunsets or the morning time. So that's how I came up with that. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to paint these in quicker. It is becoming easier now, so that's good. Hannah says, are you using a font or your own hand lettering? I always just do my own thing. I'll practice a, a new font and alter it to suit my own style. Unless it's a commission, then I have to do it exactly. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, when I was putting together this uh, calendar, I went into Canva. I went into Canva and... I found a font. Actually, it's one that I have been using um, sometimes. I think it's called Give You Glory or something like that. And then I, I kind of put this, like the um, font layout together, like January and all those, like that. And then I put it into Procreate and then I drew in the moons. I, I just drew in like two and then I duplicated them throughout. And yeah, I, and then I traced the, uh, the text in Procreate. Just so it looks more like, like handwriting um, instead of like, not, not that it even matters because I, I'm, I'm like painting over it anyways, but I just kind of wanted to 
trace over it. Uh, okay. Couldn't really see my, my pencil mark very well here, so. Trish says, for letting the hot press is, wait, for, oh yeah, Trish, I, I wish I, I used hot press for this. That is one thing I, I wish I did, because, yeah, the texture in the cold press is kind of difficult to make these fine lines. So, yeah, if, if you haven't done this yet, and you have hot press paper, you might want to use that. I feel like black watercolor paper would be very cool with this too. I don't have black watercolor paper, but I, I can see someone painting this on black paper and it turning out really cool. My end kind of turned a little wonky, but it's fine. <laughs> There's my, it's fine again. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break from lettering. Um, and now I'm going to fill in all of these moons here. So, okay. Hannah says, I do have that green appetite genuine and I love it. I love it so much. It's like my favorite color ever. <laughs> Hi, Priyamisha. Hi. Okay, so I'm, I'm just getting some more of this uh, Moon Glow paint. Okay, so now I'm trying to think how I want to paint these moons. I know, I know that I I want to paint the outer circle of them uh, moon glow. Okay, now, I don't know if I want to paint the line here with moon glow or not, so yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, um, before I paint in like half of this moon, I want, I want this to dry because I'm going to paint it in with gold, with the gold here. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry. So as I do that, I will paint in the letter up here, or the number and can't really see what number it is here. It's, I don't know if I even like trace that. Uh, okay, it's number six. Oh boy, I'm going to be writing this on my own because it's. I didn't trace that on. I don't think. All right. Hopefully the six turns out okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> okay, so I need my, my really teeny tiny brush here. I mean, it looks a little weird, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to switch to another brush so that I don't have to clean that brush I was using. So I'm gonna to switch to my size zero round brush here from Princeton Neptune. 
and I might use two different golds because this glittery one here, um, it's not as opaque as this one. So I was thinking of maybe first painting on this gold and then to add a little bit of glitter, I'm, I'm um, using this gold here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this I'm just adding water to it. Okay. Hi, Shelly. Good morning. Are you quilting today? Are you gonna paint today? Hannah says, I just got handmade black paper from the company you suggest. Oh my gosh, they, they have handmade black paper. I didn't know that. She's talking about um, French and Rose on Etsy. That's where I buy handmade paper for prints and um, it's also great to paint on with watercolor. So cool. She says that she's thinking of using it with gouache. Ooh. And then she says, I'm loving their paper. I have used the white paper. Can't, can't, re can't remember their name. Yeah, they're uh, Fringe and Rose on Etsy. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this other gold here. This one that has glitter in it. I have to reactivate it. Okay, so I kind of like this. So I don't think I will paint in that middle line um, here. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Trish says, I love painting on black paper. It's actually really fun and I find the painting goes faster. Okay, you guys, okay. I am going to have to get black paper. I'm, I'm just going to have to. Next time I get some supplies, I'll order some. And try it out. I have painted on black paper before. I painted a bookmark, but it was like cardstock. It was just scrap cardstock, and I wanted to try out a black paper. <laughs> So it wasn't like real watercolor paper. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint in all of these numbers here for January. This too is like kind of big, but it is what it is.
lots of concentration is happening right now. It's a good thing I'm painting this so big. When I first printed this out, the, the outline, I was like, man, this is big. But then I was like, you know what? This is going to be nice when I paint in the numbers. <laughs> and actually, I think this is a really good size for, for this calendar. Trish says, I was just going to say, I want to put Ilona Moth on mine and then noticed you added one on yours. <laughs> yeah, when I was uh, designing designing this calendar, I knew that I wanted Ilona Moth somewhere. I just, I just knew I wanted one. I love them. They're like probably my favorite moth. I'm going to paint in this moon, like all of them, like the outer, outer line. So guys, guess what? Something really exciting. What What's today's date? Okay. So something really exciting. I think a year ago, one year ago tomorrow, or maybe it's a year ago uh, Sunday, I went live here on YouTube for the first time with the first watercolor tutorial and yeah isn't that exciting one year ago I started doing these lives can't believe it's been a year I'm trying to make this circle a little nicer. Okay. I think I might just use this gold instead of this one here first, uh, just to see what it looks like by itself. Who here, who here? attended my live one year ago, my very first live watercolor tutorial. Have any of you, um, did, did, what am I trying to say? Were any of you there for my first one during the live? We painted the snail on, on the red mushrooms. That, that was the tutorial, like a snail on red mushrooms. Oh yeah, I think this is just fine by itself. This paint does dry fast, so I have to like reactivate it a lot.
Trish was there. How cool. Joyce was there. Liz says that she she thinks she was there. Um Oh, so Cindy was there. She she says, I did, but I never talked the first few, but the community was so welcoming when I got involved. Also, I have that painting and I, and I love it still. Aw, that's so nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, Catelyn, you, um, she, she says, can I still go back and get all of the other outlines from, from the past live streams? Yes. Um, yeah, you, you can go like to my YouTube page and there is a whole playlist actually in the description of this video where it says 50 plus free watercolor tutorials with a link that will take you to a playlist of all of the past tutorials and they, they all come with outlines and you can still get the outlines. Um... Okay, I'm reading re some of your comments. Hannah says, fringe and rose. Yes, all I can think of was guns and roses. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I need someone to like read comments to me as I paint. Okay. Um, fringe and rose has awesome products and reasonable prices. I got small 4 by 6 Black to try. Nice. Uh, Trish, Trish says, what is the smallest paintbrush you have? I'm looking to get a few for details, but the ones I've ordered just don't have the nice fine tips. Yeah, uh, okay, so this one is the smallest one I have, but it's it's like a flat brush. It's not, it's not really focusing. Like it's a little tiny flat brush. So it doesn't have like a super pointy tip. It's this one here, Princeton Velvet Touch, flat sheeter. But the one that has the pointiest tip that is my smallest brush is this one here, size two, round brush, silver black velvet. But I mean, they have smaller ones which I've, I've thought about getting, like the size one or size zero. Okay. This is like taking way longer than I was thinking of. <laughs> it's, it's okay, we're having fun. Okay, and then this one is just blank because it's a full moon or is it a new moon? If it's blank, it means it's a new moon. The full moon is the all the way filled in. Okay. Shelly says, I'm going to paint today. I set up a nice space to paint separate for my quilting space. Oh, good. Uh, Trish, this, I, I printed the outline on eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and, um, and the actual size of paper I'm painting on is nine by 12, but I'll probably trim it down a little bit. Thank you, Shelly. And Liz is here. Hi, Liz. Hannah says, oh, wow, I remember watching that live with you. You were nervous, but it didn't show, and I was praying for you the whole time. You've, you've come a long way. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. So Hannah was there, too. That's nice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Jimmy would. <laughs> J Jimmy is shy, like, with the camera. I don't think he would. Maybe someday he'll show his face here. Okay, going to add some more of this moon glow to my palette. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Liz, the, the three bluebirds we painted, that was, uh, yeah, that, that was one of the first lives I did. I think in May, maybe I did that in May last year or April. <clears throat> Yeah, I remember the, the first like few months of going live here on YouTube last year. I was so nervous every time. Like I would just feel sick to my stomach. <laughs> and now like I don't even get that nervous anymore, which is really nice. I still get a little nervous, especially if I'm painting something live that I'm not like completely confident in. Okay, I'm going to paint in these numbers. Oh, I have to get out my teeny tiny brush here. are so easy. <laughs> uh, Liz says, Trish, I, I got, oh, she's talking to Trish. Um, oh, that this is the first time using them and they, oh, Princeton long round velvet touch. Uh, <laughs> okay. How is it going, guys? Those of you who are painting with me, how are you doing with the, with the calendar? I feel like this E11 could use a little bit more paint. Okay. I think I'm going to use my size 4 round brush here. 
um, to to paint in my moons because this brush just might be better. It's a little bigger and it, it holds more. I won't have to keep adding paint to my brush. So I'm thinking that I'll finish up all of these moons on this side and then we will move on to uh, up here. And then depending on the time, I'll either finish the side with you guys or, or not. I can't believe we're an hour in already. Gosh, crazy. What are your guys' plans this weekend? Do you plan on doing any painting? And if so, what do you um, plan on painting? I, uh, I will be visiting my parents this weekend. So that'll be nice to see them. I haven't seen them for a few months. And I might do some painting if I have time. for these little numbers here.
like this brush for these numbers. This little tiny one. Then he says, I've been very busy crocheting. So far, I'm halfway done with the blanket I'm making. It's so relaxing, but I hope to paint this weekend as I have been feeling really motivated lately. That's so cool um, that you're crocheting a blanket. That's awesome. Yeah, I've when I uh, crocheted, I found it very, very relaxing too. Trish, Trish says, I'm running a 21 and a half km uh, trail run on Saturday morning and painting will be my recovery. <laughs> Go you for doing that. That's pretty cool. Like, I couldn't, like, definitely not do that. So cool. It must be like really nice to run on trails um, instead of like roads. But you see a lot of a lot of beautiful nature and stuff like that. Catelyn says, Saturday, I'm going to spend time at home 
with my husband, then Sunday I'll go see my mom and sister. That sounds like a really relaxing weekend. Hi, Kizzy. Good afternoon. Trish says, trail running is beautiful. It feeds my soul. I started car carrying my phone with me to take pictures. I see so much wildlife and a huge amount of the coolest fungi. Oh, wow. That sounds, oh, that sounds just perfect. Yeah, I, I bet you find so much inspiration for your art during those runs. Do you usually um, run on the same trail a lot of the time or do you find different kinds of trails to run on. Here around where I live, there's like hardly any trails, which is really sad. Um, there's like a, a state park near us that I could go to though. 
they, they do have some trails. But yeah, there's not, there's definitely not like a ton around where I live. I live like in the, one of the most boringest places ever. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint in the June's moons too. Bella says, good morning, Allison and everyone. I'm super late. Oh, that's okay, Fallon. I'm not even like halfway done with this. <laughs> she says, it's been a busy day at work, but I'm loving the calendar. I can't wait to paint mine later. Trish says, the same general area. Um, she, she's talking about the trails that she runs on. Um... Hold on, I'm gonna paint this moon real quick and then finish reading your comment. Okay. The same general area, most of the time it's a mountain bike trail with over 60 kilometers of trail. But where I live there, are so many areas. I'm in Northern BC, Canada. Oh, that would be so amazing to live somewhere like that. I live in like Northern Indiana, which is one of the most boring places for, for like nature stuff. Like there's just not that much. It's super flat cornfields and soy soybean fields everywhere. Okay. I really want to paint this moon really nice because it's a new moon. So there's, I think, I, I think the moons that are not painted in. Oh wait, may, maybe the moons that are painted are painted in are full. <laughs> I don't know. This is really really sad. I should look that up. <laughs> yes, we have lightning bugs. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's like one of the few cool things of where I live. <laughs> okay. I think this is a three. I can't really see. Okay, I just looked at my outline. It is a three. I think this is a 19. Yep.
I did not trace this number here like I did for January. <laughs> That's a two. Okay, good. It's not like a super difficult number to paint. Tracing your numbers and your lettering on your painting definitely makes this easier. If I just had to freehand everything, oh my gosh, it would be a disaster. Liz says, new moons are dark, full or white. Okay, thank you, Liz. So yeah, these are full moons. These are new moons here. Thank you, Liz. Catelyn says, my son was actually born on a super moon. It seems like everyone went into labor that night. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, how cool is that to be born on a super moon? <laughs> All right, so we have half of the calendar filled in. Let's go ahead and work up here a little bit. Just a little change in things because I know like the lettering and the moods can be kind of tedious so let's change it up for a little while. Um, so I'm thinking that the leaves here I will use the moon glow color and then the flowers I'll use the gold. Okay so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, but before we do move on, I do want to um, do the artist spotlight. So if you're new here, every live video, I feature an artist who uses my hashtag on Instagram, Allison Line Art Tutorial. Okay, let me move my camera. Okay, so um, if you use the hashtag Alice in Line Art Tutorial on Instagram, when you post your um, artwork from doing one of my tutorials, then you might be featured in a future live tutorial. So we have 
Hold on, I have to bring up her um, Instagram. But I did link her Instagram in the description of this live video for you guys if you wanted to support her there. So the spotlight, you can't really read her name, but it's Marik. Marik by, um, her, her username is watercolor by M. And her art is so pretty. She did my bird tutorial here. Oops. Um, and then I think this was from, yeah, this was my deer tutorial that she did. So yeah, there you go. There's the artist, Mirik. All right, is her art beautiful? Okay, so let's um, continue. This painting. There we go. Sorry, I have to straighten up my camera. Okay. Liz says, I hope you keep painting. I'm off to work. I will paint the leaves and moth when I'm at work. Yeah, I, I think I will just try and finish this whole entire thing during the live. If I feel like the, the other half of the calendar won't take me as long. Hi, Allison. It's so up here here. I'm using Moon Glow that, that you got me. So Allison, she sent me Moon Glow in the mail and I'm using it and I love it. Um, yeah, Catelyn, her, her art is <clears throat> beautiful. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to turn my painting a little bit so it's easier paint. So yeah, for these leaves, I'm using my size two round brush, my uh, silver black velvet brush. I feel like the, these brushes are really nice for leaves. Okay, my painting is dry, so I can rest my arm here. I'm reassuring myself. <laughs> I'll paint in the stem here soon. I'm just gonna paint in these leaves first. Okay, I'll paint in the stem. Yeah, Hannah, her deer did come out like really, really nice.
thank you, Liz. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's always hard to pick the featured art artist. Like I, I wish I can feature like every everyone. <clears throat> I usually try and and pick someone who um, usually does my the last tutorial I did. But if if I already featured them recently, then I try and choose someone else. I'm going to go ahead and paint in the leaves on this side, and then I'll paint in the flowers. I wanted to add more to this calendar, like more leaves and flowers and maybe like other elements. But then I was like, okay, I don't want this to be like a six hour tutorial. <laughs> So if, if you do want to add your, like, more elements to your calendar, then go right ahead. Like, I, I kind of wanted to add, like, more up here, and then even some elements, like, at the bottom of the calendar, too. Then I have to remember that. I probably shouldn't make this tutorial super, super long. Okay. There we go. I also like to kind of, after painting in these um, leaves, I like to kind of drop in a little bit more paint at the base of the leaf. So what have you guys been painting recently? 
Have you been working on anything um, lately? I have not been <laughs> besides uh, tutorials. Like here on YouTube, a nature with watercolor <clears throat> membership. Other than that, I haven't really been painting. So that wreath tutorial we did last Friday, the eucalyptus wreath, um, I plan on painting something in the middle of that wreath next Friday. And I'm, I'm thinking it'll be a butterfly, like maybe a, uh, a light blue butterfly. So yeah, that'll be for next Friday. I haven't painted a butterfly for a while. I mean, we did the 10 day watercolor butterfly challenge in April and that was like the last time I painted one. Which April, I said April, I meant August, last August. Which um, if you haven't done that yet and you want to, the butterfly challenge, there's a link in the description of this video to um, join. Okay, I'm gonna take my size zero round brush here from Princeton Neptune, and I'm gonna paint in these flowers with gold. I'm just adding some water here. like gold with this moon glow paint. These two colors just look so pretty together. Okay. Um, I did miss a few uh, spots on the stems of these flowers. And I think there's a leaf here that I missed.
I love how that looks. I'm really happy with it. What do you guys think? Okay. So for this Luna Moth, that is next. Um, I, I want this to be a simple moth, just, just like these leaves here. I don't want to like do anything crazy. I think I'm going to do the outline of the moth with the moon glow and then like the little details with gold. So I'm going to get my size two, a silver black velvet round brush. Actually, hold on. I think I don't know yet about up here, like like at the top. I think first I'm gonna paint with the gold at the top and see if I want to add the moon glow at the top too. If you're confused at what I'm trying to say, just just hold on. Let me show you. So I'm thinking of having this be gold. Okay, and then the antenna is gold, but I'll paint those in soon. I don't want to use the same brush I'm using for the antennas because this brush is uh, not as pointy. And then I want these to be gold. Thank you, Sarah. She says the calendar is looking great. And I want these spots to be gold. Okay. So yeah, I don't know if I wanted to do an outer line outside of that gold or not. I guess we'll just see. I'm first starting like as thin and light as I can.
Oh, I'm not talking because I'm concentrating really hard. Yeah, I'm just I'm just really trying to use the very tip of my brush here. To move my peeper, turn it so that it's easier for me. Okay, and then he has his little head here. I think I will do like an outer line. Really hope I don't mess this up. <laughs> for his little body peeking under his wings here. All right, I'm cleaning my brush. Now I'm going to grab this gold. Okay, I'm going to uh, repaint in some of this gold here. And then the little antennas. All right, and there's the Luna Moth, guys. What do you think? It's so cute. All right, now it is time to finish this side. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to do this all in a live tutorial and, and get through it. And I'm gonna try, uh, try to paint a little quicker here. I'm just adding some more of this moon glow to my palette. Okay. So we're on July.
Thanks, Joyce. Yeah, I really thought this gold and um, moon glow would look perfect together. Okay, this uh, texture of this cold pressed paper is getting to me. Yeah, if you're just joining the live and you plan on painting this and you have hot pressed paper, you might want to use that instead. Sarah says, is that black you're using for the writing of the months and moons or paints gray? It is called Moon Glow. Moon Glow from Daniel Smith. I recently got it um, and I love it. It has like a purple tint to it. I don't know if you can tell in the video or not. It's, it's hard to tell in the video, but it is a beautiful color. Hi, Naomi. How are you? Um, she says, hi, Allison. Not here to paint, just hang out and listen in. Awesome. Glad you're here. Hi, Sarah. She says, hi, everyone. I love the font you're using. Thank you. Yeah, I believe the font that I, I did trace is called Give You Glory, and I, I used Canva uh, for part of my outline. And then I, I just traced the font in Procreate with my own handwriting, um, which, yeah, I, did, I didn't really have to do that, but. This tea looks so different from that one.
Okay, one more, one more letter or word. I feel like I'm definitely faster at this now than I was at the beginning. Okay. Naomi says, I am well, thanks for asking. I'm browsing IKEA online to try to figure out how to store large paper frames and all my art studio stuff in my guest bedroom closet. My studio is a disaster. You and me the same. I yeah, my, my studio right now is a is a mess. <laughs> you guys, okay, so I haven't really shared about this. Um, but my guest room basically is like a second storage for all of my art stuff. <laughs> um, my whole entire uh, guest room closet is, is packed full of stuff for markets. And then I have an armoire in there and that is stocked full with frames. <laughs> and then I have like this dresser in there and it is like I have two dressers. One is stocked full of packing stuff like bubble wrap. I plan on reusing cardboard uh, stuff like that. And the other dresser is filled with old oil paintings, um, like some older artwork. <laughs> so yeah. I definitely use my guest room for storage. I do try my best to store everything in, in my art room, but I mean, I don't, yeah, my, my art room isn't exactly like super big. So I have a hard time finding a place for everything. Um, you should check out the John Axel. I think that's that's what it's called. John Axel. I use that to store at, at least the, the larger one. I know they have different sizes. The larger one to store um, like my larger packing supplies. July is the odd month here because it has four moons. I mean, five moons. Okay, I think I'm just going to try and paint in all of these moons here. Allison says, I have been working to finish some paintings that have been sitting unfinished for a long, a long time. That's good. I really need to do that. I have, oh, uh, let's see. I, I have like maybe around eight unfinished paintings. <laughs> it's so bad. It's, it's terrible. I need to do that.
Naomi says, my guest room is the same. My guest bed is even covered in stuff. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Um, our COVID rules work in my favor since we aren't supposed to socialize indoors with anyone from outside of our household since December 10th. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a good thing. You're not having any guests over, right? <laughs> You'd have to do some major cleaning for your guest room. This is great practice to paint circles. I feel like I'm getting kind of better at it. Oh my gosh, this one might be a little too, too big. It looks like I, I get to fill it all in with gold so I can like touch up some areas. So that's good. says when they see wait 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 when they when they use the restrictions you will have to clear the bed off <laughs> I need some more of this paint. We're almost there. Oh wait, I have all those numbers to paint in. Oh, I forgot about that. I really thought this tutorial would be like hour, hour and a half long. I was so fooled. <laughs> but I'm just, yeah, I, I'm totally okay with that. I'm not too hungry right now. Usually after like two hours of going live, I get really hungry because it's lunchtime. And usually I get tired too, because going live is exhausting, but I'm not too tired, so that's good. Are you guys enjoying this tutorial? Well, 
let me know if you're having fun with it. This one is a full moon, so I better make this circle nice because I can't like touch up the inner part of it with gold. By the way, I haven't told you guys this. Um, today through Sunday is my biggest sale of the year on paintings. It's my spring cleaning sale. So if there's a uh, painting you've been wanting, you might want to go to my website. Um, there's the, the code for 30% off um, at the top of my website. I have so many paintings. It will be nice to like have at least a few fine homes. <laughs> One more, one more circle. I'm ready to be done painting these. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sydney. Sydney says that she ordered something. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm going to get my really teeny tiny brush here. This one for the, the numbers. I'm going to add, I should have done this with my other brush. This brush is so tiny that it's difficult to like add paint to your palette with and like so I'm going to use this other brush of mine, add some water. And since I have a ton of paint in this brush, I will at least try and paint some numbers. I don't know what that number is. I think it's a six. Yeah, it's a 
the six. Yeah, I'm definitely painting this side quicker than the other side. <laughs> I just smudged some paint on my painting. That's okay. This is for me. I don't plan on like putting it in my shop or anything. Wow, we're almost done. Okay, now it's time to fill in the moons with gold. And that's basically all we have left to do. Okay, so I'm going to get my size 4 round brush here. <clears throat> this one. Okay, I'm going to move this. Are you guys using gold for yours? For your moons? I feel like um, a blue would be cool too. Like maybe one of these colors would be really cool. Okay, August. August is a new moon, or th this one is a new moon.
Allison says, I think I will use the gold from Beam Paints. Oh yeah, that'll be really pretty. Um, yeah, I, I, I love that gold in that set, Allison. Joy says the moth and floral design would be pretty on washi tape. Oh my gosh, I know. You guys remember me like a year ago trying to design washi tape and I never like finished it. Um, I someday, so, someday I would like to have washi tape. It's one of those things where like I, I wanna do it but I have to say no because I'm doing other things. And if I say yes, then I will never get my other things done. <sighs> so many things to do. So little time. But yeah, I would, I, I think that would be really pretty on washi tape. <laughs> Here and done. I can't believe it. <clears throat> Let me give you a close up. There it is. Thank you, Allison. Look at that glitter. That gold, it's so pretty. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, I feel like it'd be really cool to like put something down here. So maybe I'll play around with that later on and maybe like around the sides. I, I don't know. And maybe more stuff up here, but I love it. Thank you everyone. Okay. Um, yeah, I cannot wait to see your calendar. So be sure to post it to Instagram if you want to and tag me. And use the hashtag Alice in Light Art Tutorial. Um, this was a lot of fun. Thank you everyone for joining me for this tutorial. Um, I hope to see you next Friday. Okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'm really hungry now, now that I'm done painting. Um, bye guys, have a great weekend. Bye Joyce, Alan, Catlin, Hannah, Sarah Reed. Cindy, Allison, Naomi, um, let's see, Sarah Lucas, Liz. I like to call out your names, Trish, because I, I like it when, when others who do live videos call my name out. I'm like, ooh, uh, Fallon was here, Kizzy. Okay. <clears throat> I think I need a nap too. All right. I will see you in another video sometime soon.
Have a great weekend. Bye.